guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Crystal. I'm Thomas. This is <laughs> Samuel. Yeah, you and this is Samuel. Um, the story of what, my two hour labor. Yeah, pretty much. So I didn't record or vlog when I was in labor. Um, I, it just went too fast for me to pick up the camera or for him to pick up the camera. She wanted it to be perfect. I didn't want it to be perfect, but I was just in too pain. much pain and I wasn't even thinking about recording. So I gave birth on Wednesday, September 25th at 4.29 in the morning. Tuesday night is when all my contractions really started. Um, I think they started around like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 10. Ten, ten. Yeah, they started. They were they weren't consistent, but they started around like ten, and they weren't too strong. Um, so Thomas and Tori, <coughs> hey, sleep. yeah, Thomas and Torian, they went to sleep, and I was just up watching Netflix um, until about twelve o'clock, and that's when the contractions started hitting like really bad, but I wasn't timing them until like 12.55 and that's when they're like two to three minutes apart. They, they was just coming pretty fast. Yeah, they were coming like back to back. And Miss I Can Take Pain was bent over. Oh well, yeah, cause it, they were hurting. Well, you're the one that, oh, it's okay. Like, uh, it, these weren't those. So I knew I, when she woke me up 12 something, I just put my shorts on and my shirt was ready to go. Yeah, so just the, waiting for the word. The first one I recorded was at 12.55, and that one lasted 53 seconds. And the next one is what was at 101, and then after that, they were like two minutes apart, three minutes apart, and I timed them up until 2.13. So I guess that's when we left the house, a little after that. So around like one is when he got up and was asking me, okay, so are they close? So how far apart are they? Are they strong? And that at that point I couldn't like really talk <clears throat> because they were they were coming like back to back and they were hurting a lot. So I went into my mom's room to go wake her up to tell her that I think it was time for us to go to the hospital. And so she woke up and then we all got ready. But we went to the hospital first, me and Thomas did. And then we were gonna text her, text her to tell her that she could come to the hospital to be in the room with us. So we got to the hospital at two o'clock. Two twenty-ish. Yeah, you had to tell them about the way. Yeah, because we were we were leaving. You're like and three I, minutes away from the hospital. Literally like three minutes away from the hospital, and a train had come, but it was like you know how at night they go like really really slow because like nobody's really on the road, and so it was going super slow. So we had to take the long way to get to the hospital. She tell you the short stuff. You sit in the car, baby. You want me to turn? No, no, we can wait. We can wait. The baby, you want me to turn around in the car and go the other way? No, no, we can wait. We can wait. Baby, and, turn around the car. Yeah, baby, you got to turn around the car. Uh -huh. After that, I was, I was in too much pain. So we got, we turned around and we got to the hospital. We went to, they admitted us to triage first. And so we were in triage for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and my contractions were strong, long, and close. And so I think after about 15 minutes, the doctor came in and she checked me and she said that was what, five centimeters? So Monday we had an appointment. Was it Monday? Monday we had a doctor's appointment, my 39 week checkup. And I was two centimeters still then, after like three weeks of being two centimeters. And then within like two hours, I went from two to five. Yeah, Not even. Full the face to everything called it that, right? I don't think I, I thin, think I was ninety percent effaced when she checked me. But when we I didn't say when we got the triage, I started sweating <laughs> like crazy because I could take pain, like I have a real high pain tolerance, but because my body was so active into labor, I was sweating and hot and I couldn't get comfortable and they checking me and it was it was <laughs> it was hell it wasn't fun so after the doctor checked me she um asked me if i wanted an epidural before they sent me up to my room to my labor and delivery room and i said yes of course because i couldn't tolerate the pain anymore 
And so after a while, they took us up to our labor and delivery room. That was a what? I don't even remember like what time it was. It had to be like 2.40, 3 o'clock. Um, That's not right. About 3. Um, you know, what time was it? Well, well, you should know because you was ready to come. Oh, you What time was it? <laughs> 3? 30? 3.15? About right, 3.15? About, about right. So because I wanted the epidural and you know, they have to do the IV and stuff, um, they had to check for veins and they had to do like lab tests. So for the epidural to make sure everything was all right with my blood and stuff, I guess, I don't know. So that took at least 20 minutes. Uh, because I have such small veins, they had to use this cool device called a vein finder. So they like light up, they use like a, is it infrared? Or it's a like red light. Well, it's something they showed all the veins. They showed all my veins. My veins are like literally like this big. They're so small. So they use that. They're checking my hand, at least my hand, my arm, my other arm, my hand, for at least five, ten minutes. Uh, meanwhile, I'm still in pain, ready to shoot somebody because they're taking too long. Um, and then what happened after that? Then they finally got it in, and then the doctor came in with the. With the um, epidural. Epidural, yeah. Uh, so this it's only seven minutes. I'm telling y'all, this labor went so quick. Like they say, the second time you go into labor, it, it goes by quicker, and it really did. Because by the time I got, by the time the doctor came to give me my epidural, um, when she was putting the needle in my back, my water broke. She was like, oh, I, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> they had me on the edge of the of the bed. And I was sitting in front he of He was her. in front of me. And she told me her water broke. But it So I it was broke. like, oh, I hope it don't get on me. <laughs> don't just It doesn't, push up. like, my you legs were like uh, in your face. Uh, yes, they were. Uh, I was they were, your legs. They were opening in your face. I was sitting down. Uh, and they were like, they were close enough where something would have squirted out. They'd have got all on me. And <laughs> but they, they weren't like, I was, you know, like, sitting on the edge of the bed. They tell you to sit still. And they put the needle on your back. And then they administer the medicine so while she was doing all that i felt my legs going my well my left leg going numb it started tingling and then i felt like a triple i was like okay i don't know if i'm peeing i told the nurse i told the nurse i don't know if i'm peeing or if my water broke and so it trickled and then it stopped and then it like gushed out after that and so she's like okay so we're gonna lay you back down after get they get all this stuff done with the epidural we're gonna lay you down and check you so I lay down, and the nurse checks me, and she's like, well, you're at a 10. I was and like, what's a 10, then negative something, because you... I think she said like a negative two or something. Yeah. I don't know what the negatives mean. Yeah. All I know is that I was fully dilated before I got my epidural. So they, they did a test run for the epidural to make sure, you know, I could feel nothing or I was starting to go numb. And I was like, well, can y'all do another push for the button? For the epidural because I'm ready to push and I don't want to feel anything. Um, so by the time the the doctor doctor came in to check me, they said that his head was basically already almost out. No, the doctor <laughs> can't see. she has a boring detail. Well, I can't blame her. She was. I don't remember. She was a little numbed up and she was in a lot of pain. In a lot of pain. And so the doctor said, "Okay, lay back. Let me see. You know where you're at." She opened her leg, and his head was like right there. I mean, you, I could, this part of his head was right there. I, I mean, you can't see it here. Either. If you can see that, about that much his head right there. She didn't push, she just opened her leg, he just come right there. So, okay, we're ready to have this baby. A push and a half. A push, he, if she'd held it a microsecond longer, he would have popped out. A half a push on the second one, you know, what y'all do, and then push, well, he just popped right out. And I, I was like, and that was quick. It was, it was too, the first push, I didn't have enough energy to push because my body had been, I had been shaking the whole time, like violently shaking. Every time I had a contraction, I was just, and I, it was uncontrollable at that point. So my body was like shaking and I was tired from just like jolting the whole time. So that half a push, you're like, well, okay, the head is out. Was it the head out? Well, the first push, his head was almost out, and then about half a push. The rest of them came out. So basically, he was almost out in a push, pretty much. Yeah, that was but, the quickest. 
Baby FC on board. <laughs> and I didn't have like time to react to do anything because to even think about anything. Because by the time I had pushed, they're like, okay, he's out, and they put it on my chest. And yeah, she like, go, oh, What? That's oh, it? Like, I oh, thought I was. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Literally, I was <laughs> at the hospital that for was so two good. hours, not even an hour and a half, yeah. before I gave birth. It went by so quick. I, that's why I didn't have enough time to like record anything. Like, by the time we got to the hospital, my mom came in the room. They told her, all right, we're going to. Do the epidural, so she had to get out. Ten seconds later, they were like, "Okay, you could you could come back in because she ready to push." Like that's like it, it wasn't like a long amount of time of us waiting and meet my contractions building or anything. And let me tell you about my little big man. Mm. He was a champion. All right, Torian was a the man. <laughs> he didn't cry. He looking. He sit back. When you tell him sit back, he look. Okay. And then when the baby came out and laid on the chest, he go, "Baby, it's a baby." Is that he go, "No." That's a baby. It's a baby. He didn't, you know, he put together, cry. he didn't put together that Samuel, you know, he knows Samuel was in her belly, but when Samuel actually came out, he was like, no, that's not Samuel. He it's pointed to her belly and said, Samuel, baby. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah, that, he didn't put two together. But yeah, he was in the room the whole time. He didn't cry, he didn't whine, he didn't do anything. Like he had this serious, champion. like stern face on the whole time up until Samuel came yeah, up. Yeah, cause he does that. Um, I guess his empathy level is high when it comes to He's very us. concerned, yeah. Yeah, if I start coughing or get into like a little coughing fit or whatever, he's patting my back, looking at my face and and the same thing with her. If she's in some kind of fit, pain, he's he's looking and he's the real concerned look and I love it. Yeah, you know, but you know, I don't trust him. He, two seconds later he might throw something at you. But, <laughs> but he did good. I mean I didn't yell I mean I might have I feel like I was screaming like the whole time. You know? But I didn't yell yeah. too loud. I wasn't like obnoxious. She gave two good yeah, when I felt the urge Grunts. of pushing, like after my water broke and I felt like I had to push, I felt like my scream was, well, my grunt was like very... She don't grunt like me. You don't hear her, so you heard that, you knew it. Like, oh, <laughs> like, okay, got, I gotta push. You got some pain, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what happened, man. But yeah, but thankfully the epidural kicked in just in... I mean, I don't even think I needed the epidural. Yeah, whatever. I mean, well... I was, uh, what? Because I was thinking, oh, this baby came too quick. She gonna want another one. Yeah, I want another one. But I don't think I really needed the epidural so by the time I pushed because I don't even think I would have felt him coming out because he came out too quick. You felt him come out if you didn't have the epidural because they give you sample medications when they, you know, in the back they give you. Really, they sample. gave me the test one and they gave me like a full mm -hmm. one. Yeah, well, test one. So yeah, the test one, okay. the test one was enough to put like my left leg, yes, my left leg, and made it numb. And then when she did the full administration of the medicine, it, my whole like lower half went numb. So I had just enough, and it came just enough time for me to push. Yeah, like he he came out quick. He weighed five pounds, ten ounces. He was eighteen inches long. We thought. He was gonna be at least seven pounds because my stomach was so big. But he was all—I was mainly all baby, but he was only five pounds, which is small. They say he measured small for his gestational age. And so, they thought Torian was gonna. Be yeah, like, they thought Torian was gonna be like five pounds. So they something. they induced me. We didn't get like ultrasounds to measure his weight after twenty weeks. So. So, God bless this. Everything went too uh -huh. easy. Too easy, too yeah, it's smooth. Too, easy, too smooth. Well, I can say that. I can't, you know. It was smooth. Speak, I mean, I, I would her. do it all over again in a minute. It, the pain, I mean, I don't even remember what the pain felt like. So it was hurt. Yeah, I remember it hurting, but I don't remember like the intensity of it. So I can do it all over again. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, she don't. But I'm, I'm good. Mm. Good two boys. Gonna try for another one too. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have them back to back. But yeah, guys, that's the story of how I gave birth in two hours. I wanted to be like, this is the story all about how. Yeah, but it had been like a, a one minute song. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even made a full. A full, song. not even like a like a sixteen bars or eight bars or nothing. It would be like two bars and that'd have been it. It'd have been the hook and that'd have been it. Amazing. We just had some music playing for like three minutes. But that's the story of 
how I gave birth and how little Samuel was delivered. You want to say something? Let's see if you'll turn around. Let's see if you'll turn around. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. You're so little. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, he mainly his hands are so his fingers are long, his hands are long, and his feet are long. So we think he's gonna be a tall, a tall child when he gets older. Cause Thomas' side of the family, all the men in his his family are, are really tall. So I think he's gonna be tall too. Yeah, me at six two. They say I'm six two, six three. His dad's like six four. Yeah. His brother's six five. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm the littlest one. So. I mean, but I'm six feet is still tall. One. So I think I'm gonna do an, uh, a two week postpartum video after we go to his two week appointment. So it's gonna be me and him in the video. Thomas, I don't know if you want to be in the video. It's, it's two week, it's a postpartum video. So I don't know. Oh, he can do his postpartum too. His his symptoms and how he's feeling two weeks after uh, Samuel's birth. But yeah, uh, we thank you guys so much for watching. Thank the you, thumbs everybody. up button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And we will see you guys in the next video. We love you. Love Bye. you. Peace. God bless.